Okay guys, we're just about to go on a horse ride. We're gonna go around the um, St. Stephen's Green and uh, we'll see how it goes. I was here earlier and just a short trip there. Yeah. So we are going which way? Okay. Yes, this is our ride. Nice. Okay, guys, we're gonna go up. Yes. Yeah. So, Norman is just preparing the carriage and we're going. Okay, okay, guys. Hop in. Lovely, lovely. Yeah, we'll have fun. Right, so I'm gonna go up and it's the way. Okay. Right, okay. Scary. This is the ride. Okay. This is cool. It's a bit uh okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there you go. On the ride. Okay, guys. Now, okay. Take that. Now, Kian. Nice one, guys. Yeah. Okay. This is the ride that we have. So we're just going around Stephen's uh, Park. Why don't you hold this just like that? Just maintain, okay? Maintain that. Hold, hold it here. It's a. Just go like this. Sixteen rebellion by Countess Wax. Yeah. She brought the wheel and the stone. Is there? Oh yeah. This is this is where you learn to be a sword. They fired on the Shelbourne Hotel where the British officer stayed. And they, they were in there, they had a, they were in trenches in the ground, so they put a machine gun in the window and they ridded them back into here, they did, yes? So they were in there for three days, poisoning in and out, so when they come out, some of them are dead on the ground here, the whole lot, and uh, she came out, she got two years imprisonment, she did, and she was the first woman ever to enter politics. Yeah. Count Edgemarkovich. She's a lovely house down in Sligo called Lizendale House. It's the day, the day she died is the way the house is still today. This is one of the top renowned colleges to learn to be a soldier in the world. Okay. Yeah, this is the Salvation Army on my left here. They brought the out and built them on around the corner. When I was a kid, they just went to here. Okay. Here. This one here that we left here, it goes four stories into the ground. Uh, there's a river runs under the sea called the River Podro. Yeah. And, uh, that's how they got around during the rebellion, but without being detected by the English army. Yeah. And these are the old tenement houses here. Five families living in the one hall, one room. She would put a rope across the room on a blanket, tie it with nails. And the girls would sleep on one side, the boys on the other. And everyone in the household got worse than a Saturday. The girls would go up first, the boys would go up second. They'd come down and you go.
there is where Roy was born, and that plot's there. I was born in there. You were born in there? Yes. Oh, wow. I had seven brothers and seven sisters. Fourteen of us in there. Okay, guys, as you heard there, the man who was um, touring us, riding the horse. See the greenery on the balcony? Yeah. On the bedroom over there. Oh, there we go. We are getting some personal uh, history from the man behind the horse there. There's a staircase is there to go around. Yes. Yeah. Oh yes. Have you been inside? In there? Yeah. Yes, I played yeah. in there as a kid, yeah. Oh, okay. My aunt lived in there on the bottom floor. Oh. She lived to a hundred. He sold fruit up the street there in Westwood Street, fruit and vegetables. My mother did and my all my family. Yes. Before you go out here, the deer of the housing gets. This is Harcourt Street here. Okay. This is famous for the nightclub up there called Copper Face Jacks. Oh, okay. That's where all the celebrities go if they want to go for a night out up into that. That house, that's a lovely house. Yes, there. that's the ranger's house of the park, yes? Yeah. Yes. But I don't think he stays there anymore, you know? Okay. Yes. <laughs> now you see up there. Where the colors are, the, the gay pride colors. I'll show you something now. You go that way if you want to go in. There's a comedy festival up there today. Wow. But these are the Georgian houses all the English lived in. Uh, if you were to buy one of them today, the price of one of them is four to five million. Wow. That house there, the white one. Yeah. William Butler Yates lived there. Uh, the artist has to go to the GPO. Well, this house here. This is where the servants would live. And the family that owned on the house. Which they made the money I was selling paper and this is where the guests stay when they came for dinner wow, and yeah. underneath there where the gates are that's yeah. where all the stable and coach houses were yes. now this red brick building this is the smallest church in, in Dublin the University Church of Stephen's Green and next door to that is Newman House the Reuters Museum James Joyce Oscar Wilde Bram Stoker all the Irish famous writers, all their works is in there in glass cases. Plus Handel's Messiah is in there. They do classical music as well. Yes? Yes. Yes. Lovely in the morning. When the day goes on, it gets worse. <laughs> the place will be packed. Yes? Now this house here, yeah. Yeah. this was the Guinness family home here. Oh, okay. There's 15 acres of garden on the back of that called Ivy Garden. That's where the comedy thing is today. 
Now, Sir Benjamin lived in there. He had 21 children. Wow. And this path here on my left, that was a private path. They hand over to the people of Dublin. They had to be called their independence. So the people of Dublin ran it then, yes? But that's still in the Guinness family home. The government, that's a part of the Foreign Affairs. The government still run it for the Guinness family. Remember as a kid, they were all houses along here. Oh, houses. They were all the British lived in them. When we got our independence, they ran out with them. They went back to England. Now, the further you go out, the dearer the houses get. Now, the one with the black plaque on it. That was a hospital in the day, St. Vincent's Hospital. It's out by Black Rock today, a big major hospital. And next door is the Loretto Garrett School. 20,000 a year to put your child into education there. And there's a board school at the back, which is 100,000 a year. There are the classrooms up there. Now you see the lantern over the door? Yeah. Well, there was a candle in that. If the candle was on, the master was at home, you could knock. Oh. Right? If the candle was off, don't bother knocking. Don't bother. He wasn't there. Yeah. This is the Australian embassy here. Where is from? Uh, Philippines. 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 Yeah. But we've been living in Waterford. A Waterford, yes. Yeah. A friend of mine is married to a Filipino girl. Oh. Spoken Angel Street there, May is her name, yes? May, oh yeah. yeah. That's Hume Street up there. That's where all your plastic surgeons are. Them oh, rooms, yes? Okay. This is Ivan Fitzpatrick, celebrity solicitor. He goes out with Michael Fratton, his ex-girlfriend. He paid a half a million for an engagement ring for oh. <laughs> And this man here, this is Wolf Home. He was the man that started the war to get the British shower here. Yeah. In there. Well, yep. yeah, this is the Shelburne Hotel we're coming up to here. This is where we saw the proclamation for the English to leave here in 1922 and there. Up in that room there on the corner. Yeah. Michael Collins, Eamon De Valier and Lloyd George. Yes? Yeah. And number 27 in Kildare Street is the home of Brad Stroker, the author of Director. He lived down there. He married Dr. Wills ex girlfriend.
Yes, yes.